if you've ever found a killer deal on cheap pots, but they don't have drainage holes, this video is for you. We're gonna go through my foolproof method to drilling holes in them without breaking them. Kevin and Spear 2 here from Epic Gardening where it's my goal to help you grow a greener thumb. And one of the ways that we can grow a greener thumb is by more successfully cultivating our indoor plants. Now I found these $33 for all four of these pots, pretty good deal. I just recently had a video on how to find these cheap pots, so check that out if you haven't already. But the commonality in all these pots is they don't have drainage holes. The problem is sometimes when you drill a drainage hole, you're going to crack the pot. Now these are cheap, $7. It's not the end of the world if I crack this pot, but I don't want to. It's wasteful and it's just frustrating. And so what we're talking about in today's video are the drill bits you'll need, as well as the technique that seems to work. So stay tuned, let's go ahead and get into it. As far as materials go, of course you're gonna need your pot and the bits that have seemed to work the best for me. This one right here, is a glass and tile bit. So it seems to do short work if it's used for those applications. You can see it's got a pretty interesting pointy top which can be helpful because you need to at least have some sort of starting hole when you're setting the, the bit down. Otherwise it's gonna slide all over the place and you're gonna have some issues. Now the other one that I think works slightly better in my opinion is going to be a diamond tipped hole saw bit. So this is a half inch diamond tipped hole saw bit. They're actually not that expensive despite the word diamond in them. And these ones grind away. And so what you wanna do on these ones is you'll notice there's no pointy tip. And so what I like to do is I'll grab a pen. Let's use this one here, it's a little easier to see. I like to grab a pen and we'll roughly mark the center which is probably right about there or so. And then with a diamond tipped, you come in at a 45 degree angle until you establish an edge and then you turn it like this and let it do the rest of the work. Okay, we have taken the stickers off. We've got our diamond bit. The only other thing I added here was a little water can just to put some water here to prevent overheating. I don't know how serious of a problem that is, but let's go ahead and solidify that, snug that in. We'll put a tiny little dousing of water on the surface here or more than tiny. I recommend doing this on um, some kind of surface like this, like lay down a cloth or something like that, and come in at an angle. So we want the middle of the bit to eventually cover right on the middle right there. And then it might slide a little bit at the start before you get it settled in, but you wanna go relatively low to medium uh, RPMs here. So now I, I, can, I have a point at which it'll adhere. It's hard to see, but it's, it's definitely there. And now what we'll wanna do is come in and start drilling. Boom, problem solved. So here is the little core sample that we took out. Here is our hole and let's just go ahead and give it a little rinse, see what it looks like. It's not the most perfect, but it definitely will do the job. So I think we're in a good spot. Check it out from the inside, we're good to go. So like I said, these glasser tile bits definitely can work, but it's slow going. I actually started with the glasser tile and I swapped over to the diamond tipped hole. And honestly, this made short work of it. And here, let's wash this off real quick so you can get a sense, but I mean, besides the sticker mess here, let's take that off, let's take that off. But besides the sticker mess, I mean, that's a solid drainage hole. That looks like it was there the entire time. So I'm gonna go ahead and wholeheartedly recommend this. Now let's get to a different pattern you can drill into the bottom. Now on this larger pot, let's say I wanted to put a little succulent arrangement in here. It may make more sense to drill the triple hole. And so I might put it up next to each of these legs just to make sure it's nice and stable. Let's just make sure we have a nice little even arrangement there. That's pretty good, right? It's like a little Triforce. Okay, so let's go ahead and drill this guy in here. That noise is so bad.
So we successfully drilled an unglazed ceramic, we've drilled in a glazed ceramic, and then we've triple drilled a glazed ceramic. No cracks, no breaks, no nothing. The pots are gonna have perfect drainage now. And like I said, you know, this one may be good for something that requires a lot of drainage, like a succulent, anything like that. As far as bits go, the one that really took the cake, and I've tested a few, is this diamond tipped hole saw bit. You can eventually replace. So I bought it in a pack of five and it was like $12, I think. Uh, so not a bad deal. The diamond and the abrasiveness will go away. Like it took really long to get through the third hole here. And so I drilled maybe, what, five total holes. And this one seemed like it was almost spent, but that's not so bad because you come in a pack of five. So I'd recommend that. Remember, you just have to come in at that 45 degree angle, not a big deal. And yeah, thanks for watching guys. Shoot a subscribe. We're in the new Epic Plant Studio. It's a little echoey. The backdrop and lighting is not quite where I want it to be yet, but I'm excited. I'm gonna be pumping out some more videos for you guys. So throw a like, throw a subscribe, throw a comment, cultivate that like button, and I will see you on the next video. Peace.